Jennifer Johnson here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Today we are talking college football. Now, obviously, this week was National Signing Day for high school kids going to college. So I have tons of stuff about who I think is going to be the elite schools coming forward, who are the best college programs in the country, and all of that fun stuff. So stay tuned. Make sure you follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson if you haven't already, and click subscribe. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, so first we're going to look at some of the programs based off of championships. Now, if you look at just their championships, you're going to see that it doesn't match up with what we know today because schools like Princeton and Yale have the most championship wins of any colleges, but they also haven't won a game or a, champ a national championship since, I don't know, the 1930s. <laughs> So we need to take them off the list. Next, we have schools like Notre Dame, who are also killing it at the top of the championship list. But Notre Dame hasn't won since like 1988. Now we go into the schools that have won a little bit in the past, won a little bit now. And those are going to be your USC's, Ohio State's, Michigan's, and of course, Alabama. So... USC, Ohio State, Michigan, all of those schools are kind of around the same number with eight, nine championship games that they've won. And they're all throughout decades. Alabama, though. <laughs> Alabama is at the top of the list. They have, what is it? Uh, four, are we at 14 now for Alabama? They've won a lot of championship games, and... They're killing it year in and year out. In fact, if we go take a look at their recruits this year, they are also killing it. They actually just signed 26 four- and five-star recruits this season, which is actually more than any school signed in recruits, period, this year alone. Following them, we're going to have a school like Georgia, but Georgia actually gets a lot of their players from JUCOs, so they aren't really like having these young guys come in, they're having guys that are going into their sophomore, junior year coming in, and they're immediately able to make an impact on the team. And then we also go to schools like Oklahoma, which is actually doing really well because of the fact that the last two Heisman Trophy winners have been Oklahoma quarterbacks. This has created a frenzy of receivers and tight ends that want to play in Oklahoma because they want to play with one of the top quarterbacks in the league. So Oklahoma actually just nabbed two of the top three receivers and three of the top 11 receivers going in to college this year and also nabbed the top three tight ends. Stop it. Oh, a top three. Tight end, not three of them, but one of the top three nabbed him as well. So their school offensively is literally going to be killing it in the next few years. All of these guys coming in, again, are freshmen that are, some of them might redshirt, some of them might not, but we should see Oklahoma at least winning bowl games or making it to the college playoffs in the next few years every single year because of what they're doing offensively. And as we know, college is a more an offensive game than defensive game. Schools like LSU are still going to bring in the defense, and they're still killing it on recruits. Tons of people want to play at LSU because of their defensive games, um, because they get, you know, a lot of guys from LSU transfer to the NFL well. Tons of, obviously not Jamarcus Russell, <laughs> but tons of guys, um, eight out of the top ten Defensive guys this year are actually going to be wearing purple and gold coming into this next season. So LSU, be on the lookout for them defensively. They're going to bring a team for you, which they have to do because obviously the SEC is one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult, league there is in college football. Now, USC obviously has been complete trash, but they do hold one of the titles as one of the best teams to win championships. They've had one of the highest amounts of Heisman Trophy winners, 
For Heisman Trophy winners, it's going to be USC, it's going to be Ohio State, and it's going to be Notre Dame. And most recently, Oklahoma's came out on top two with getting a lot of college guys to become Heisman Trophy winners. Obviously, college guys. I don't know why I said it like that. But a lot of these college guys are becoming Heisman Trophy winners out of schools like Ohio State and USC and Notre Dame and Oklahoma. Last two, obviously, being from Oklahoma. The interesting thing about Alabama is... They've only had two Heisman Trophy winners in their whole entire career, which is very interesting. And as a player that would probably want to be known as maybe the star of the show, you're not really going to see that in Alabama. Like I said, 26 of those top recruits, four- and five-star recruits, are going to Alabama next year. So you're literally getting the best of the best, and it's going to be hard for players to go out there and shine and be bigger than what the team is. So... You don't get those guys that are going and being top overall picks, number one, two pick in the league. But uh, Alabama also does hold the record right now for the most NFL players that are currently active in the league. I believe it's 44 players that they have that are active in the league that went to Alabama. You jump down that list, and you're going to see Florida up there as well. Ohio State is always up there. Ohio State, I would say, is one of the better programs because they're consistent all the way around. They have tons of championships. They have tons of Heisman Trophy winners. They have tons of guys in the NFL. So they're able to, and their recruiting is still good. Even though they've had issues in the past and obviously this year, um, they're still pulling recruits. They actually were ranked 15th, I believe, this yes they were ranked 15th on doing the best in pulling recruits and on national signing day this week so ohio state is still going to be a force to be reckoned with but next few years i don't see anything changing with alabama obviously alabama got blew the f out by clemson during the national championship game but clemson hasn't been doing very well in their recruiting they you know don't get heisman trophy winners they have won several championships, but they're still an underdog school. So I don't know what's going on there, but they're not getting a lot of the things that they need. Obviously, they had some great seniors that were coming out of this championship and going to go pro next year. So I don't know if they're in the future going to be as good as they have been. Obviously, they have that freshman quarterback that was amazing, literally amazing during the national championship game. But again, like I said, their recruiting isn't that good. So I don't know how many people are going to be able to say that Clemson is going to be good for years and years and years. Maybe they are got another year or two under their belt. But schools like Oklahoma is going to get rise to the top. Unfortunately, I am not an Alabama fan, but Alabama is just where it's at. They've got everything down, the recruiting down. I wish they would produce more Heisman Trophy winners. But at the end of the day, it really matters like if the guys go to the league or not. If the guys are able to leave the program and then play at an NFL level and be successful. So I guess Alabama, Alabama has it in the bag, baby, unfortunately. Ohio State, I feel like, is right behind them. USC, people just want to go to USC because of the name, but they haven't been playing well. The facilities, I guess, are really nice, and it's Los Angeles. So people are going to want to come here, and they don't have to technically do much recruiting just because of the fact that people want to come to Los Angeles. But um, they need to figure some stuff out. They're not there. Um, no other California team is there, although California does send, I think we're third in having the most kids go college and go pro behind Florida and Texas, California isn't isn't where it's at for college football right now. Um, so I want to know what you guys think about what I had to say. My opinion on sports, obviously I'm not a huge Alabama fan, but I do think they're, they're going to continue to be successful in the future because what they've been able to do and how they've been able to capitalize on when they do win. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this video, click subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!